Let's talk about how to use audio ducking with a voiceover track as a master and as the background music being faded up and down automatically based on if there's loud signals in the voiceover track so that the you can avoid keyframe animation uh, by just following a couple of techniques that I want to show you here. Now this does take a little bit of uh, trial and error to get your setup, but once you get a setup you've got a nice uh, repeatable audio configuration. So I'm going to ta double tap here on voiceover track, go to audio, go to configuration and ducking, and I'm going to make my voiceover track the master. On the background music track, I go to the audio tab, configuration, ducking, and make it auto. This establishes the relationship that the voiceover track will be driving the volume levels of the background music in relation to when there are, is dialogue present. And here's how it works now. Standing under the shadow of the statue of Alexander the Great, it's easy to imagine what types of stories exist in the amazing city of Skopje. Clearly the voiceover track has um, ducked the background music, but it also tended to duck it um, even at the beginning when I want the music to be louder. So you can go and set the threshold level for that under project settings. I'll show you what settings I've got. I've been tweaking this to try and figure out uh, in terms of the duck start time duration, duck end time and duration. Um, if changing those really makes much of a difference. And what I found is that I definitely want the ducking volume. This will be the, the output level of the background music at minus 23 dB when ducking is um, being used. In other words, when the voiceover is being um, present in the audio mix. So I found taking this to about 23 dB, somewhere around there is just fine. Um, gives a good balance between my voiceover narration and the music. And I experimented with the ducking threshold here to see if I could find a level where it would work naturally. And actually, I just like to keep this at infinity, and I'll show you another technique then um, just by um, just some simple edits to your voiceover track, just some splicing um, and removing the silent segments that will then make this effect work really, really well. What I'm talking about, let me just zoom in here to the beginning. I definitely want my viewers to hear the music here with the title card and then for the music to fade down once the voiceover track comes in. So all I'm going to do, and here's how it sounds right now. It's too quiet. That's the Standing problem. under the shadow. That's the level I want it to be once you hear the voiceover track. So all I need to do is remove this part. In this case, I'll just slide it over. And now if I audition, yeah. Standing under the shadow of the statue of Alex. And there was the nice fade down. And the timing for that fade down is, again, under your ducking settings. You know, how long do you want, um, how long do you need it to, to, to begin ducking? So you can shorten that time to maybe less than a second. Standing under the shadow. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that audio fade go down and then hear the voiceover punch over on the top of it. That's a pro touch. So I can continue with this technique. I go to my next segment where I want the music to build up and I can see it here in the audio waveform. It's right here after I introduce um, the statues. So let's audition. Into another world. Right there I'd like the music to come up and then to be ducked a world right there. So this gap, it should automatically detect by the levels, but like I said, eh, just can't get it to work. So I just need to the world slice that track right after I say world. And then I'll just bring that point over there. So now there's absolutely nothing there in the voiceover track there. So the music should ramp up and ramp down, fade up and fade down naturally. Let's hear this into another world.
a world in which the women of the history of the arts. Yep. So that this approach, and it's a little bit of a hack, works great. Here's my next segment where I want music to build and fade down. And authors. Right after authors. This is so much faster than keyframe uh, animation. Authors. And all of these are fine character studies to examine. But maybe if we use our... I think you really like that. Um, there's another segment here. Here I still want the music down. She's not rich. And I do need to move that forward or backward in time so that she's not rich, she's not poor. Um, definitely goes with these pictures right here. And let me just find the next. But that's an easy fix. And trying to avoid some of the artificial constructs Right here is the next, so there's the t silliness of p TV presenters. Of television presenters. Right there. I'll cut, bring it back over to my next words. Let's audition that. Of television presenters. The key for me is to let my heart lead me to characters that will help me reveal a city with my camera eye. And again, after camera eye, feel a city with my camera eye. Oh, that's a really nice music track that it's just got that long decay there of the last note of the piano. That's just really beautiful. Worked out really well for my two-minute project. Um, and there are, of course, libraries of production music you can get. Um, but it's just nice that there's some built in to the LumaFusion app. And you can use just a digital microphone, you know, like the Sennheiser hand mic digital to record professional level voiceover. You can use a limiter and a compressor to improve the quality to get really, really top-notch broadcast narration suitable for your local cinema. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love this. And this hack right here uh, will work, I think. It's faster than keyframe animation. And like I said, it's if you follow these project settings that I use as a guideline for setting your ducking, then you're going to be in good shape. 